Did it bloom? Oh, so close. Morning. Crazy kitty. Say hi, Marble. Never a boring day at the barn. Today is rent a bobcat and get a whole bunch of stuff done. Had this delivered a few days ago with the goal of putting this to the shed. Do you hear him coming, Marble? Where I live, spring means mud. I'm gonna share with you the three main choices I saw for dealing with mud and tell you the one we chose and why. Choice number one would be to do nothing and leave the mud the way it is. There's nothing wrong with this choice. It just limits how much I'm able to use my paddocks during the mud season because I worry about horses pulling their shoes off and getting other injuries. Choice number two would be adding mulch. While mulch or bark or something like that was an option, I didn't like that we would have to continually replace it. Choice number three was stone. The two choices inside of stone would be stone alone or stone with a fabric underneath it. We chose to go with stone alone after we did this little experiment last year. This is by the gate and you can pretty easily see that even though it's a high traffic area, it's much drier than where we didn't put stone. <laughs> We're not gonna do stone in the whole paddock right now, but maybe someday in the future. I almost videotaped my own demise right there. I can't hold my husband liable if I stand in front of the bobcat and keep waving him closer. <laughs> Anything for a good shot, right? Our plan is to dump the stone in a V-shaped pattern from the gate out to the entrance of the run-in shed and right in front of the water because that's the highest traffic area in the paddock. I would love to do the whole paddock, but that's not in the budget right now. Let me know in the comments below how you deal with mud in your area.